Alright, the rocket problem. I like the rocket problems. Okay, I trust you can read it on your own and we'll just dive right into the sketches. So, let's first draw Kelsey's because Kelsey and Holly uh, have different rockets and they launch them in different ways. So, um, actually let's start in a different one, sorry. Okay, so here's Kelsey standing on the ground. Here's the ground. Here's Kelsey. Okay, so her rocket leaves from right here, and by the way, we're going to assume that there's no wind on this particular day. Um, so we know that she stood 50 feet, right, 50 feet from the launch site. Here's the rocket. And we know that her angle of elevation of measuring, and that's measured from her line of sight right there. There's her eyes. So we know her angle of elevation was 79 degrees. Okay. We know that she's 5 foot 3 inches tall. And we want to know the height. You can call it H. You can call it A if you want to. We want to know the height of the rocket. Um, likewise, same ground, and here's Holly. Holly's a little bit taller. Okay, Holly also stands 50 feet from her rocket. The rocket goes in the air. She measures her angle of elevation at 77 degrees. Again, here's the rocket. Okay, and she wants to measure the height of her rocket. We'll call this H sub K and H sub H for Holly and Kelsey. We know that Holly is 5 foot 6 inches tall, so this is Holly and this is Kelsey. And whose rocket went higher? Alright, so because we know um, the adjacent side, uh, that means that we could um, use cosine, but we don't know anything about the hypotenuse and we really don't need to know anything about the hypotenuse. We want to find this opposite sign. So we've got adjacent and opposite, so that leads us to the tangent. So if we've got the tangent of 79 degrees is equal to the opposite side, that's h sub k, all over the adjacent side, which is 50, multiply both sides by 50, so 50 times the tangent of 79 degrees equals the height, and the height, let's just squeeze that in right here, is 257.2 feet, and that does seem reasonable. Um, but we want to know how tall it went, and so we're going to assume, let's see, because it lifted off, she measured right here, so we need this distance right here, right? So this is the distance from the ground to her eyes. We're going to assume, assume that from the top of her head to her eyes, we'll assume that's about three inches, so that makes this distance five feet. So we're going to take that 257.2, we're going to add 5 feet to it to give us a grand total of 262.2 feet. So that's how tall Kelsey's rocket went. Let's do Holly's, and then we're going to do it in the same way. So the tangent of 77 degrees is equal to h over 50. We also have 50 here as our adjacent side. So h is going to be equal to 50 times the tangent of 77 degrees, and that turns out to be 238.2 degrees. We'll make the same assumption about Holly's eyes in relation to the top of her head. So 5 foot 6 inches minus 3 inches, well that turns out to be 5 foot 3 inches. So this piece down here for Holly is 5 foot 3 inches, so we have to add 5 foot 3 inches on there. Oh look, we got inches and we got decimals. 3 inches, so that's like 3 twelfths of a foot, 
right? 3 twelfths of a foot is a quarter, or 0.25. So you're going to take the 238.2, you're going to add 5.25 to it to give you a grand total of 243.5 feet. So that's how tall um, Holly's went. So to answer a question, who's went taller? Kelsey's racket went taller. Alright, so there is the racket problem.